Okay, so today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this luxury ball. This is from the Wand Company. And if you guys know, you could buy these types of Pokeballs from the Wand Company on the Pokemon Center official website. And normally, if you buy like a regular Pokeball, a Great Ball, Ultra Ball, like those type of, just like, you know, even like a Love Ball, like they have like different kinds of Pokeballs. And if you buy these Pokeballs from the Wand Company, they normally sell for a hundred bucks, $99, a hundred bucks. Now the exception, one exception was the Master Ball. The Master Ball was released as a limited quantity and they sold it for a hundred hundred and twenty dollars and the luxury ball for whatever reason and maybe you guys could help me understand but for whatever reason the luxury ball also sold for 120 the only difference is is the master ball was a limited quantity the luxury ball i don't know why it sells for 120 it doesn't seem like it's limited and all the other pokeball types all the other pokeball types like the ultra ball all of them sell for 100 so yeah i don't really get it but maybe it's because it looks cool it looks really fancy and for me personally i really love this pokeball this is my favorite type of pokeball you know like it's all black it's golden it's very fancy like this is where you want to keep like your number one pokemon is inside the luxury ball because it looks so cool and so fancy and it's like you know it's like very exquisite right <laughs> All right, so anyway, let's take a look at it. Let's open it up and just see how it looks like, all right? Okay, so here's the box. There's the side. I really love this little case that it has for it. There's the back, the luxury ball, the side, the top, and the bottom. Nothing too special right there. So what it says right here is, the luxury ball is a highly accurate premium quality replica, the perfect size made with engineered metal shell. Deeply colored surface is sensitive to touch and proximity and with its brightly illuminated button and magical lift to display illuminated presentation case, this luxury ball promises to be a seriously beautiful addition to any fan's Pokemon collection. So the luxury ball has a very premium look to it. You know, kind of like its name implies and which is probably why they charge as much is the master ball because they know people are going to pay that much money for it 120 bucks for a very cool looking pokeball but anyway let's open it up and see how it looks like inside When you buy these men, you want to keep these boxes intact because you know this is a collector's item and it's something that might, like if you want to sell it down the line, you want to keep the boxes and like this, like this information and stuff. This is just an information packet. Um, we're not going to really look at that. Set that to the side. Right here we got some Zyro foam. Man, look at that, man. You know they protect these to the max. Nothing in there. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man, there it is. There it is. Oh, that's pretty heavy, dude. I did not expect it to be that heavy. Gonna set that right there. And here is the display case. Come out, man, come out. All right, so there's the display case, Pokemon luxury ball, side, side, top. Ooh, that's pretty fancy right there. Side, bottom, and right here is like a little serial number, you know, to make your luxury ball unique. This is like the unique serial number. Pretty cool. And then you open that. Ooh, that's fancy, dude. Look, look at the way it pops out, dude. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Imagine, imagine you walk into the room. You know, you just have it chilling there. You walk into your room. You look at it, and it's like, what's up, master? Boom, pops out, dude. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like the way it pops out. Now, for the man of the hour, the luxury ball. Oh, let's see how it looks like. Oof, that is sexy, dude. Holy shit. Oh, that is a nice looking Pokeball. Can you guys get a good look at that? I don't know if the lighting is good enough, but that is nice. Here, let me take this off. Okay, pull tab. Oof, that is fancy. Fancy. Wow. You can see the reflection of everything. You can see me in the background. You can see my light, my window, man. Damn, that's a nice looking ball. There's the top, the front. Now, the thing about these is they don't open up. Um, I guess that's the only downside is like, it's a display piece. It's a collector's piece. You are there to display it, to collect them, but they don't open up, which is kind of lame because you know, Pokeballs are meant to be open, but yeah, if you buy these Pokeballs from the one company, they don't open. They're just meant to be displayed and to be able to light up, which if I hold onto the button, oof, look at that, dude. That is really cool, man. That is really cool. That is really neat. Hold on to it again. What does it do? Nothing. Hold up, let me pop out the, the manual. But first, oh wait, whoa, whoa, I did not do anything right there. 
Does that just turn on by itself? How does that happen? All right, here, I'm gonna put this right here. Display it right there. I'm gonna bust out the manual because I don't know what's going on, why it just turned on by itself. Okay, so we got the manual right here. Just gonna see what it says real quick. Okay, so if you press the this button right here, oh, that's a button. Oh, it is a button. It's like a touch button. I didn't know that. So you turn it on and I think it says it's on for like 10 minutes at a time. And then right here, it shows you how to open it. Oh, I see. If you open it, there's like a ring inside where you can like display it on top of the, the display box and then put the Pokeball on top of the display box or you could just put it inside the display box. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And then it shows you like how to replace the battery right here. Like it says you open it, there's the ring, there's the battery, and then you replace the battery. Pretty simple, right? And then on this side, it's the instructions for the Pokeball. So you take out the tab, you press the button. Okay, I don't really understand what it's trying to say right here. Don't throw it, maybe? Oh, I just hold it for like two seconds and you could change like the light settings. And then right here, it shows you how to replace the battery. So it shows that you gotta push in the button area, pull it out and the battery's inside, place the battery, put it back in, boom, boom, boom. And that's the instructions of how that Pokeball works. So yeah, like I said, you can't really open it like a regular Pokeball, like that button right there, that's like where the battery is held. Um, you have to like take it out. I'm not gonna take it out right now. I just kinda wanna just show you guys how this looks like. So there's that. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty sweet. So let's see if I can turn this off. Okay, so I played with the lights a little bit and this is kind of how it works. So the box, obviously you open it up, it pops out and the lights turn on, right? You hold on to this, it turns it off. You hold on to this, it turns it back on. You tap on it, changes the lights. Pretty simple, right? Now the Pokeball, you hold on to the button and it turns it on, right? So the way this works is if you set it down, it turns off. But if you hold on to it, it turns on. Let go of it, it turns off. Grab it, it turns on. You let go of it, like you put it right here. Let go of it, it turns off. Grab it, it turns back on. So it kind of detects your hands, all right? So watch. See, I'm getting close. Getting close, far away. Close, close, and grab, and it lights up. Pretty cool, huh? So when you have the ball in your hand and you press the button, it's gonna try and catch a Pokemon. So it's gonna blink three times. If it turns red, it means you didn't catch the Pokemon. And if it turns a rainbow color, it means you did. All right, so I'm gonna press the button. One, two, three, boom and it caught the pokemon that means the pokemon was caught so let's try it again and boom you caught a second pokemon all right let's do it one more time three and that means you did not catch the pokemon when it turns red so i mean you could kind of play around with it if you set it down the lights turn off when you pick it up you know the lights turn on if you want the lights to be on when you set it down you can have to like press the button and then set it down and then i'll go through like the phase of like trying to catch a pokemon see just to give you guys an idea of how it kind of works. So right now, press it again, set it down. And you did not catch the Pokemon. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's like other features that I don't know about and I kind of have to figure it out. But I mean, that's what I've figured out so far just by playing with it. And yeah, a couple more things I want to show you guys is I'm going to open this up in the back and see what's inside. Okay, so good thing is I have a little screwdriver here. Very handy. Okay, so then you pop this open. And then when you pop it open, there's the batteries and the ring. So we're gonna take out the ring. Okay, so I actually had trouble taking out the ring for whatever reason. I mean, like these two things right here, like pull tabs, but I don't know, like I couldn't really get a grasp of it and I couldn't really pull them together. So I don't know, it was kind of weird. And then randomly, I just put it like this and it just fell out. So I don't know, dude, it's kind of weird, but you guys might have trouble with that. I don't know. So anyway, if you want to display it like this, you put this little silver ring on top of this silver Pokeball. It fits in nicely, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere. See? And then you grab the Pokeball and then you put this guy right on top. And you can display it like this on top of the box, which looks really cool if you want to display it that way. I think that both ways look cool. I think this way looks cool. And I also think that, you know, displaying it normally like inside the box, I think that also looks cool. So that's how that looks like. Or you could display it like this. So it's a matter of preference.
So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this luxury ball. Like, do you like it? Do you like the style? Do you think it's a nice piece that you would like to add to your collection? And also let me know what is your favorite type of Pokeball? You know, like, like I said, mine, my favorite type of Pokeball is the luxury ball, which is the whole reason that I bought this and that I got this. And it's probably the only Pokeball I'm gonna buy from the wand company. Cause I mean, they're expensive, man. They're pretty pricey to collect. So I think it's worth only like grabbing one or two if you were to collect them. And for me, I had to get the luxury ball because again, like I said, it's my favorite. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of like this type of Pokeball. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, drop a comment. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.